everybody, it's Laura with Following the Paper Trail and it's What's Up Wednesday and I want to show you my new toy. I have um, been starting to use the Copic markers. It might be pronounced Copic, but I think it's Copic. I've been starting to use some of the Copic markers. Oh my goodness, they're fun. A little pricey, but they are totally fun. And I got a new um, air, it's called an air grip. It kind of makes your markers into a... Um, um, Airbrush. Now I have I actually got several airbrushes and a compressor and all that kind of good stuff. But I'm the and I can eventually hook my compressor up to this. But it's out in the garage somewhere and I gotta dig around and find it. Um, and it's you know it plugs up and it's messy and it's just a bit of a pain. And sometimes I want something just real quick to add some color to something. And I have been playing with um, coloring some of the you know the white prima flowers. Um, and I've been having a blast. Now it's a, you know. I love my Glimmer Mist. I am, you know, tried and true a Glimmer girl, and I love my Glimmer Mist, but don't have a lot of control over where it sprays. And the nice thing about doing this is it gives me a little bit more control on spraying um, where the color goes. It doesn't have the sparkle because I can always add some clear sparkly over the top of it, um, you know, just a subtle, subtle color of the Glimmer Mist over the top of it to give, give it the sparkle. But... These are alcohol based, so they're kind of like an alcohol ink, but they just mush on to the, you know, here's one. I hope I'm in camera. Um, here's one that I took um, the tip of the marker and colored the edge of the flowers and then sprayed the center. Here's one with a little thread on it where I, I made some little freckles on it too with the marker and again colored the edge. Um, so that made that real pretty. And here's a, a triple layered one. Some real subtle colors here. You can even do the, like the deeper colors. Uh, but I'm going to layer that one up. It almost has an iridescent quality to it. And the more colors you have, obviously, the more you can play. Um, but at the price of these things, I'm, I'm building slowly. But um, they are just a ton of fun to play with. So let me let me get these out of the way because otherwise I'm, they, they blow away. <laughs> um, so I just you know pull one out. Let's just do a subtle pink color. The Copic markers, if you're not familiar with them, these are like professional grade markers. They are refillable, all that kind of good stuff. They have a brush tip at one end and a chisel tip at the other end, and it's the chisel tip you use. Now, the um, airbrush fits the um, sketch markers, which are the oval shaped one, which is what I have. There are also the round shaped ones which are a little easier to find, the chows. And you can make these work in this. You just have to put some carpet tape in and <laughs> kind of fill up some space, so to speak, in there. Um, but it just makes it, see how it does a subtle, little subtle color. Get my little pokey doodle tool out. Don't want to get close to the center. because. And it's kind of playing with, you kind of get to where you kind of get a feel for where, and you just, you know, little, short little bursts. And, you know, it's not a spray can, like spray paint. You do it just subtly. This can gets really cold, too, and it won't work very well when it gets cold, so you kind of got to keep it warmed up. But So you add that little subtle color. Now I want to layer the color, and that's the beauty with the Copic markers, is you can, you can layer the color just to give it you know, some yumminess and richness. So I'm going to add a little soft little violet color on there now. It is. What I like is, especially on these Primas that have kind of almost the ridges like this one does, is how it catches the way that the ink gets caught on the ridges and stuff, and it really gives them a lot of, of definition at those at those ridges. And then I want to just give it a little, maybe tone it down just a little bit. Um, so I'm going to add some, this is warm gray really pale warm gray but the pinks kind of come out a little fluorescent so I want to tone it down maybe just a skosh so I can just keep on layering colors on there all I want till till I am happy with how it looks um, I use this skin white it almost has a peach color quality to it and that kind of gives some of that iridescent feel so I can pick it up and I can do kind of along the edge if I want now, you do always want to do something like this in a well-ventilated room. Always remember that whenever you're doing anything you're spraying. Not a good idea to do it where it's not well-ventilated. So I have a window open and I am freezing to death right now. Because here in Seattle, it snowed the other day. 
all the trees are blooming. It was, you know, definitely spring and flip flops out and everything. And then, bam, yesterday it it got cold and it snowed. It's the poor little trees all blooming are all going, well, what happened? So anyway, I digress again. Isn't that cool how pretty that is? Then you can also, like I did on that one, I can take the brush tip and just run it kind of like right along the edge and it kind of bleeds in. Isn't that pretty? So, and I just a quick and easy, I have just had a really crazy week. So I had planned to do an envelope mini today, but I have had a crazy week getting ready for taxes, getting all those receipt things all together, all that kind of fun stuff. Love that. So anyway, also getting ready for the um, paper bag album mini class this weekend, the one that's similar to my um, Strike a Pose album. It's not exactly the same. It's similar. Um, I just want to make sure everybody's aware of that. Um, Hopefully most of you have gotten your kits by now, um, international ones. I'm hoping they get there in time. I have no control over how quick they get through your customs and that kind of thing. Um, uh, I have put up a supply list on my website or on my blog, uh, following the paper trail.blogspot.com so that you can check out, um, supplies you need in addition to your kit. If you have a kit, if you don't have a kit, it gives you a supply list of what I included in the kits so that you can, you know, come up with your own materials that are similar. Um, Ustream starts at four o'clock on Saturday Pacific Standard Time, uh, which is minus eight, I think, GMT, whatever that means. <laughs> I'm not real sure, but, and it will be recorded. I promise, promise, promise it is recorded so that you can go back and look at it as many times as you want. Or if you're not able to make it to, to join us live, then you can um, check it out then. Also on my blog, I figured out how to get a PDF uploaded so that you can go to my blog, um, click on the link, and then print out the um, templates for the um, tags. So don't, don't mess around with the scale. If you print it exactly the, the scale that it is, you should have no problems. The tag should measure three inches by six inches. Um, and I've downloaded them and printed them off of there. So the link is working. At least it is for me. Hallelujah. I figured it out. Don't ask me how. I don't know. But it's, it, there's a, a website that you go to and you can upload it there and share it. And I have it on a private share. So you can only get to it through the link that I have. So go scroll down the, the um, thing I put up today, scroll down to near the bottom and it'll uh, say click here for the, the link um, to get those templates. I did not include those in the kit. They weren't, weren't quite ready and I was trying my darndest to get those kits out of here as quickly as I could. Um, so it is downloadable for both those who have the kits and those who don't have the kits. You can go ahead and get those um, te templates. Um, so you can join us on Saturday. So it'll be, we'll be at tons of fun. We will not be completing the album on Saturday, but I'll show you how I put it together. We'll do some embellishing on a tag or two on a couple of the pages. I'll show you how to put the cover on that kind of thing. But in two hours, we will not get it done. If you want to pre-assemble your bags, go ahead and do that. If you want to pre-paint your canvas covers and tags, I do have a YouTube video that you can watch on how to do that. Um, if you want to go ahead and have those pre-painted, I might, I'll probably paint a tag or two. I'll probably go ahead and pre-paint my, my cover so that we're all good to go when you're not sitting there watching paint dry. <laughs> Loads of fun. So anyway, um, if you have some Copic markers, check out getting one of these um, things to turn it into an airbrush. And have a great time making an entire garden full of just soft and pretty flowers. I was having a good time. This is just for, you know, playing around for about an hour. Oh, not even that much. Biggest thing is you got to keep your can warm <laughs> while you're working with it because it does get chilly and it doesn't want to work when it gets cold. So anyway, um, not sure what I'm going to have for next week's What's Up Wednesday. I'm, I'm trying to get another envelope mini kit. I have it almost good to go and try to get that up. Um, I'll try to get it up by this weekend and maybe next week, um, next Wednesday, I'll do the What's Up Wednesday. And my daughter just got home from school, so I'll see you on Saturday. Bye.